Hey guys, Qualcomm just released its flagship chip for 2017, the Snapdragon 835. So how does it stack up? Let's find out. After competing with Samsung's Exynos chips, Qualcomm finally decided to join forces and the 835 now will be manufactured by Samsung using its 10 nanometer FinFET technology. And this is huge. Just to give you a feel of how small that is, it's a thousand times smaller than a single strand of hair and there are currently no desktop chips with this technology. The physical size of the chip is also 35% smaller and consumes 25% less power than its 14 nanometer predecessor. This means that device manufacturers will now have more usable space for larger batteries or slimmer phone designs. VR has gradually been becoming mainstream, but what has been holding it back is its entry price. But devices like Google VR and Gear VR, because they use smartphones, have slowly been building up a significant user base. And to help make this experience better, the A35 will support object and scene-based 3D audio and allow for 6 degrees of freedom for improved head tracking. This is very much comparable to what you'll find in expensive VR experiences like the Oculus Rift. And if the S8 has a 4K display, I just can't wait for the next Gear VR experience. Other than this, it offers 25% better 3D graphics rendering for real-time movement, which means less stuttering, and supports a wider HDR10 color gamut. It also has support for Google Tango, which means it enables AR support. But what if you aren't interested in VR and just want to shoot some crispy videos instead? Well, Qualcomm really paid attention to the autofocus this time. The hybrid autofocus in the A35 will prefer to use contrast detection autofocus in well-lit conditions, dual pixel autofocus in moderately lit conditions, and laser or IR based autofocus in low light conditions. So basically better autofocus all around. And the hexagon DSP ensures an always on HDR mode, skin tone enhancements and enhancements for autofocus. It supports 4K recording at 30 FPS and 4K playback at 60 FPS with support for H.264 and H.265 codecs, basically meaning it's prime for YouTube recording. Games will run butterly smooth because it has an Adreno 540 GPU and has support for DirectX 12, Vulkan and OpenCL 2.0. It has 4 cores clocked at 1.9 GHz for low power tasks and 4 additional 2.45 GHz cores for high performance computing. It also has support for Quick Charge 4 which promises 5 hours battery life just with 5 minutes of charge and to keep all your stuff safe, supports iris and facial recognition with Qualcomm's token based authentication for securing transactions. In terms of connectivity, it supports Gigabit Wi-Fi, yes you heard me right, Gigabit Wi-Fi, Bluetooth 5.0 which also by the way supports internet on Bluetooth and Android instant apps as big as 20 MB load within a second. So yeah, I'm super excited about the release, what do you guys think? Will manufacturers use this technology? Are you excited for 2017? Let me know down in the comments. If you like the video, leave a thumbs up and if you want more content like this, please subscribe. Until next time, it's Dissolve signing off.